Hello everybody! Today we are back here with a basic video or a build video of a variable RF top or a so-called RF signal sampler probe and uh, yeah, what you can already see here on the scope is the RF sample of a SSB signal and uh, yeah, you know this uh, is uh, really neat in your ham radio check or your CB check or of course in your radio shop or your radio lab so yeah today we uh, want to have a look at uh, this accessory and are we able to build it um, and uh, yeah, from right uh, um, of the beginning up to a finished product. Yeah, and uh, why is uh, this uh, interesting? Well, very easy. So you simply can uh, see during uh, transmission if your signal is uh, overdriven. Like, like you can see it here already a little bit. I mean, you can always uh, change here uh, the settings to get uh, the uh, optimal uh, output from uh, your signal and this is uh, very helpful because you can't really put your uh, scope or your, uh, your uh, spectrum analyzer directly to your radio because you would uh, simply blow your scope or um, even more your spectrum analyzer with a full 100 watt output or input into the scope or spectrum analyzer so therefore this here is uh, very helpful and uh, yeah that is what we want to build yeah and uh, here i'm sitting now with uh, my uh, lab radio but it could uh, as well be your uh, shack radio um, at your station or wherever and uh, yeah the question is uh, always uh, okay so we have of course here our output and yeah output is connected to an antenna or a dummy load so uh, whatever but the question is how can I get a sample here from this signal and I mean it is clear um, we can't directly feed uh, this signal here into a spectrum analyzer or um, a, a scope because this uh, power is much too high and would simply damage uh, our front end so well we need to look uh, something uh, different to be able to get here a sample of uh, the transmission signal out of it. Ah, and uh, what it is it all about? So many of you will uh, definitely know uh, the bird uh, wattmeter and uh, yeah they have uh, different but uh, there is one which is called the 4431 and uh, yeah, this 4431 has a variable RF tap and uh, that is uh, very uh, interesting and uh, that is on the other hand very inspiring because you know the question is can we do this by our own? Can we build it? And uh, yeah, if we are able to build it, uh, how expensive might it be and uh, yeah when you look uh, at this uh, bird uh, meter so this is the uh, official bird site so if you have the 4431 so you do not need to think about this video and you do not need to watch it but if not this might be an interesting option for you because you can see here at uh, the 4431 that uh, we have here in front of this meter uh, a potentiometer where you can adjust 
uh, the uh, um, the sample. Um, so if if you like uh, the uh, strength of uh, the uh, sample, and we have here at uh, the side a female BNC connector where you can uh, simply get your IRF sample um, for connecting it to your scope or your spectrum analyzer. And that is the idea to uh, get a device which uh, is simply doing the same what uh, the 4431 has already built in this product. Okay, so let us simply think a moment about the theory of uh, what uh, we really need. So, um, basically, uh, we need a device uh, which we could put here in line where uh, our signal can pass through without any attenuation. And uh, on the other hand, um, yeah, we need a tap to pick our signal. And uh, of course, uh, the signal which uh, we want to pick, so the sample we uh, want to take, should not be um, that uh, high like uh, the original RF which uh, we would send uh, into the antenna. So, therefore, we um, have to think about uh, what we can do to um, have um, a straight on uh, signal flow without any attenuation and uh, well yes on the other hand how is it possible to grab uh, a sample so that is uh, what uh, we need to think about well, yeah, I have uh, already started uh, with uh, the drawing, so this will be uh, the RF uh, connector, um, the female uh, connector, which uh, we put on uh, both uh, sides into uh, our device, and uh, then, yeah, it, um, yeah, it uh, will go. Let me say, into. Uh, a tin um, like uh, this. So this is, uh, I don't know, a kind of metal, whatever uh, we, we find. Um, and uh, well, to um, get our signal through without uh, attenuation, uh, we could uh, simply do the following. Yeah, so we simply put uh, a wire through, straight through this uh, little uh, box. And uh, well, so that uh, will maintain that we do not uh, lose any power on the way. I mean, this will be um, a little uh, box and uh, as I said, it will be out of uh, any metal. So that means uh, the ground will go um, through uh, the box uh, itself. Um, I mean, that is uh, clear if we see these uh, RF uh, connectors. Uh, we can uh, simply put them here into the box and then we put the screw uh, onto it and uh, uh, the ground is uh, then connected here through the box and uh, here uh, in the middle we simply put um, a wire through and uh, that means we do not have any uh, attenuation and uh, if this uh, tin is uh, uh, closed so we do not lose any RF. So therefore um, yeah, we do not have a problem with our original signal. Okay, but uh, how can we now get our RF sample? And well, the easiest way uh, would be uh, something uh, like uh, this. So, let's uh, uh, 
let's uh, say that uh, this here is uh, our wire through and uh, we put uh, simply uh, some uh, wire around it uh, like uh, this and uh, we then would uh, be already able to pick uh, a signal here from this yeah it is uh, at least uh, a coil and uh, we would be able to pick you know a signal from here but uh, this would have uh, some disadvantages because uh, you know um, over the entire frequency range we uh, would not uh, have uh, a flat uh, gain so therefore um, this yeah it would work but uh, it is not the best idea okay but, but uh, what would uh, happen uh, if uh, we would uh, take um, yeah something like uh, this so uh, a ferret uh, core instead uh, of uh, this simple method so if we would uh, take you know this uh, core here and uh, we would uh, put it over uh, you know our main um, wire here through uh, the box and uh, we would uh, put some um, wire here onto this uh, core so that uh, we get at least uh, a transformer so yeah you know in this case our uh, our wire here through uh, the box uh, will be then our primary side and uh, the uh, wire we would then have here on the core would be our secondary side of this little transformer and uh, yeah in this uh, case we are then uh, be able to pick at least a sample here from our original signal yeah it would look like uh, something like this uh, so yeah it is not fancy but uh, i hope you will be able to uh, get the idea uh, so we have uh, here some wire on our uh, core and uh, yeah so um, this is then uh, the secondary side of this transformer and this here is then you know our uh, our primary uh, side all right and uh, yeah that uh, will help uh, to have really a very flat uh, gain over uh, the uh, entire uh, bandwidth and I think a device uh, like this will definitely work up to um, 30 or 50 megahertz so this uh, is fully usable uh, within our shortwave um, uh, band width and uh, of course it will uh, work in uh, our 50 megahertz area as well so this device could be really very neat for um, our shack yeah and as you already have uh, certainly recognized you do not really need uh, a lot of uh, components uh, to realize this project so yeah we need uh, a kind uh, of box uh, like uh, this here and uh, of course uh, we need our uh, RF uh, connector and uh, the core and uh, we need uh, this uh, female uh, BNC connector and of course uh, we need a pot uh, to uh, adjust the level so that's uh, it okay so there is uh, additional to that uh, maybe um, to uh, resistors which uh, needs uh, to come uh, into into here so uh, that means yeah we 
uh, put here a resistor um, to it which will be at least yeah let me say our pot to adjust it and then we need of course um, uh, 50 uh, ohm resistor uh, to adapt our device to um, the um, yeah, common resistor within our radio world so this is 50 ohm and then simply here we can uh, put our um, our BNC female connector just to pick our sample and yeah that's it so you see this will be uh, not a very uh, expensive uh, um, device it is right the opposite it is really a cheap uh, device but it will be very helpful because you can as I already said your um, scope or your uh, spectrum analyzer and you really can analyze your signals which are going um, out to the antenna and that is uh, really nice. Yeah and uh, as this is really no rocket science so we simply put you know uh, the RF connector here um, at uh, the uh, edges here and we uh, put our wire through and you know that is really that simple that uh, let me simple, uh, simply build uh, this uh, device and uh, then I show you the result and we can then um, do some uh, experiments and uh, some measurements. And here we are just uh, finished the soldering so um yeah so that uh, is all uh, it is so we have uh, here our bnc connector where we can uh, pick the sample here is our pot and uh, yeah <clears throat> this here is uh, you know the uh, through connector with our two um, RF connector and uh, yeah it is really as uh, simple uh, as I can as it uh, can be so um, we have here our core and uh, here this is our pot and what have we um, yeah we have here um, let me see if you can uh, really see it so uh, we have here our uh, 50 ohm resistor just uh, to get our match to our 50 uh, ohm systems and uh, that's it so the only thing uh, I have to do right uh, now is yeah, okay uh, let me put this here away so then uh, we have a bit, little bit more space and uh, yeah so the only thing uh, we we have to do right now is uh, to bring our um, wire here through yeah where can you see it maybe maybe uh, this way through um, our core so that uh, we can uh, pick I don't know is it uh, uh, so it is a bit uh, more bright and uh, yeah we we just uh, put it uh, through and uh, then um, we can uh, close it uh, finally and yeah, not uh, without uh, soldering uh, it uh, down uh, here so that is uh, finally uh, the last uh, step we uh, have to do of course um, but uh, other than that uh, that's it so let me do this uh, last uh, solder connection and uh, yeah then we can already start uh, our tests and uh, experiments 
All right, so last uh, view. So once again, you can uh, three, see the wire which is uh, going through and uh, you see our little transformer and uh, everything. So yeah, um, that's uh, it. Uh, so this is now uh, soldered and uh, well, um, we simply have uh, to uh, close it and uh, put uh, the bottom uh, screws uh, into the unit and then uh, that's uh, it. So uh, here I have uh, the screws which uh, have to go here into, into the box and uh, yeah we are ready and uh, let's start with some more interesting uh, experiments and uh, not always this boring mechanical uh, stuff okay okay here we are so uh, the only thing is of course we have to attach it to uh, our radio and um, yeah, as far our uh, device is uh, bidirectional, so uh, well, we can uh, place it uh, either way. So therefore, let me um, connect uh, on this side our dummy load. Then I have to use this adapter here, and I put it uh, down here. And uh, yeah, I will um, directly connect it uh, to the radio. But uh, of course you can uh, use a Corx cable um, if uh, you have uh, to place uh, your device uh, elsewhere. So um, this uh, is uh, no problem. But uh, here for uh, our uh, tests and for demonstration let me directly connect uh, this device uh, to the radio. And uh, now we have um, nearly all connections done. So the uh, last thing uh, we have to do is uh, connect our um, scope to this uh, sample output here. Okay, and uh, here we uh, have it. Um, yeah, very simple. So this uh, coax uh, goes to the dummy load. Here we have our connection to the radio and uh, here our, um, our uh, RF uh, pad. And uh, this coax of course uh, directly goes here into the scope. Yeah, so we uh, can now um, do our first test. Right, so we can now check if um, our device is uh, working. And uh, yeah, let's uh, check here uh, the mic. And uh, one, two, one, two, audio, audio, one, two, three, four. So this is a SSB signal. And uh, yeah, so uh, that is uh, one uh, function, of course. So. When we uh, pick here uh, our signal, we uh, can directly uh, monitor uh, our, our uh, transmitted uh, audio. So that uh, is uh, one function, but uh, that is definitely not uh, all we can do. Okay, first of all, uh, I have uh, set here our uh, tab um, to our a DBM meter and uh, that is what we want to check first what uh, is about the gain uh, over the uh, entire uh, shortwave uh, band and uh, therefore we uh, start in the 80 uh, meter band and we will go up um, to the 10 meter band and we will simply see uh, what uh, the output uh, power out uh, of our tap will be because uh, yeah you know uh, it should not really um, be much more than ah uh, let me say around uh, 10 
uh, dBm and uh, so on, on fully power so that means when I here uh, key uh, the radio so I have set it simply to uh, uh, CW and uh, yeah with uh, full output power um, on all the different uh, bands we uh, want to check what uh, the tap of uh, our uh, device is delivering so that we get a feeling and yeah it should not be too different uh, over the whole uh, short wave uh, band so that means from 80 meter up to 10 meter okay so therefore I uh, as I already said I connected uh, the tap to um, the meter and uh, now I uh, push uh, the PTT and you see yeah 8 point yeah let me uh, round it up 8.7 dBm or maybe round it up 9 dBm so um, that is uh, 80 meters so now I go up to um, the 40 meter band which is dialed in right now and let me see what we have there so that is uh, 10.6 so and uh, that is what we are looking for 10.6 is a very nice uh, value okay and let me dial in the 20 meter band so yeah that is now dialed in and let me see what we have there yeah 10.7 uh, dBm very nice and now let's go ahead to 17 meter and let me check what we have there and 10.95 very nice so no problem whatsoever so far and let's see what we have on the 15 meter band so 15 meter is dialed in and what do we ah 10.7 so always uh, with uh, full power of course and uh, yeah so let's uh, go ahead to our 12 meter band which is dialed in right now and again full power and 10.88 very nice and yeah let's go ahead yeah and let's go to the 10 meter band um, which is dialed in right now again full power and 10.89 okay so what we uh, can see so far is that uh, the gain so the output uh, level out uh, of our uh, tap so our RF tap is uh, approximately around uh, 10 dBm and uh, that is exactly um, what uh, I was uh, expecting um, because uh, 10 dBm if uh, we uh, calculate it into um, into voltage uh, that means it is 708 millivolt and it is 10 milliwatt uh, output so uh, we can simply uh, switch it here that we all can uh, see uh, ah, wrong this one uh, when I now again push it so you see 0.7 Eight, eight, and uh, that is really a low voltage below one volt so no danger for uh, our measurement equipment and uh, again let's uh, switch it to watt and uh, we see it is uh, 12 milliwatt on full power so that is uh, a value um, which is really uh, great without uh, any problem so let me go back to um, dbm uh, we have here uh, 10.9 so that is approximately um, that is approximately 
you know uh, 11 dBm and uh, yeah let uh, let us check right now uh, if we are really able to reduce the power with uh, our uh, pot which which we built in yeah and that is uh, exactly uh, what we uh, wanted uh, to have we wanted uh, this uh, pot here to uh, adjust if necessary uh, the output uh, level and uh, yeah uh, we remember our bird and uh, that is exactly what uh, bird uh, is also doing on uh, his um, RF meter 4431 and uh, that is uh, at least what we built in here as well and uh, we want to check right now if we are really able to reduce the power so therefore uh, let me go back here to the meter and um, yeah full power of course so radio uh, will send out uh, again with uh, full power and uh, we have uh, 10.5 uh, dBm um, as uh, full power out uh, of our tap so that is maximum and now I start uh, reducing the output level so you can follow on our dBm meter and uh, yeah you see I'm uh, able to reduce uh, the output uh, power to a level of minus 8.77 dBm so this is uh, really great uh, because um, our range is uh, in uh, this case uh, yeah not uh, fully not uh, fully uh, 20 dB but uh, very close uh, to that so um, our pot is uh, working like uh, an attenuator and uh, the range um, the range of uh, our attenuator is uh, yeah approximately 20 dBm uh, 20 dB sorry um, so that uh, is not too bad that is exactly what uh, we were looking for and now we are really able to adjust our output level if needed um, but well on the other hand uh, you can also put a fixed uh, pot inside uh, and adjust uh, to uh, a wanted level and then you have always um, you know uh, the fix level here at the tap but uh, doing that you need uh, uh, to put a bit more effort in uh, the core we we have done uh, because uh, maybe uh, we need a little bit uh, more inductivity uh, to get uh, a much more flatter gain I mean we are quite satisfied with uh, what we have but uh, uh, you know if you want to make it uh, fix which is of course possible yeah then you need uh, to put as I said a little bit more effort into the core uh, maybe more um, uh, um, inductivity and maybe uh, another core whatever but that is possible uh, as well so you can um, uh, test it and you can uh, experiment it a little bit if you like but uh, I person personally um, you know um, prefer this pot so that is um, that is great and that really uh, fulfilled all the need uh, the needs we we have in uh, our labs well now we know our device is uh, fully working but uh, this little device um, can do much more for us so it is not only that uh, we can observe our voice um, okay that is uh, of course one um, uh, interesting um, that is really one uh, interesting point but uh, on the other hand yeah I've um, already uh, switched uh, the radio again to uh, CW and uh, yeah what we can uh, do um, we uh, can uh, of course read here our uh, output uh, frequency and uh, you see again 
full power okay and uh, here this is uh, the diet in frequency so you can read it here seven one uh, seven three and uh, if uh, you uh, simply yeah, let me bring it in if uh, we uh, watch here our display uh, sorry it is not uh, the best uh, angle here um, but uh, I, I, I think you you can uh, see it so you uh, simply are uh, able to uh, see your uh, output uh, signal and you can see it is uh, nice and uh, clear uh, and clean uh, sign uh, so if we would now put uh, uh, on our uh, spectrum analyzer then uh, we simply could uh, check uh, the harmonics so which uh, is also a very nice uh, feature what we can uh, do with it but uh, beside that we uh, can of course um, check our keying uh, especially in uh, CW so uh, for instance you can uh, see it here so that is uh, when I key the radio and uh, in this uh, case uh, it is uh, interesting yeah let me put it uh, on a single and uh, now we have a frozen uh, signal here on the screen and uh, yeah what we can uh, do right now is uh, checking here uh, our um, slew rate which uh, is of course uh, interesting and uh, therefore uh, I can uh, simply go here with uh, my um, with my uh, cursor mode uh, I can I can check here uh, where we uh, start here the signal and uh, of course um, we take the second one and go here to the end and then we are able to check um, you know the uh, through rate and it is here uh, for instance uh, 3.2 milliseconds so that is uh, what you can uh, check with uh, this little this device as well so you really can uh, check your uh, output uh, CW signal um, and uh, that is uh, of course very interesting to know yeah and as I said we can uh, of course do much more so we can simply feed in a double tone uh, pattern which uh, I have done right now and uh, yeah we uh, simply put it out uh, it is not a uh, very good uh, triggered right now so uh, that uh, uh, should be done if uh, we uh, want to observe it uh, very correctly but uh, well what what you can uh, see so far is that uh, it is a very nice uh, a pattern a very nice uh, double tone uh, signal and uh, if I would change here some uh, things you see that uh, it is now changing and this is showing us that uh, it is not uh, any more nice and uh, clean um, uh, SSB output signal so SSB output uh, signal pattern should, should really look uh, like uh, this and uh, if this is uh, moving like uh, so it is uh, definitely showing that uh, something is wrong with uh, our setting and uh, what we want to see is a signal like this and uh, this is telling us very nice uh, output signal so without uh, distortion and um, basically if uh, I would uh, now really overdrive uh, the signal like uh, so you would uh, also see it here uh, in the signal now you see uh, we have a completely 
overdriven signal and uh, that is telling us something is uh, wrong with uh, our uh, output signal. I simply switch it off right now and uh, yeah that uh, all is uh, really possible to do with uh, our little device down here. Yeah, and once again, uh, this is uh, really the complete uh, setup, uh, our test radio with our little device uh, we built and uh, here of course uh, our signal generator uh, for our double tone and uh, the scope to monitor it. Um, yeah, you can easily use as well your uh, spectrum analyzer to uh, do more analyzes, of course. And uh, but uh, simply that uh, is what you need to do, and uh, then you are really able to do all these measurements. Um, you need in your check or as well in your shop, whatever you like. Yeah, and uh, here again the uh, schematic if you like uh, to build it. So that is, oops, that uh, is what uh, we already uh, have uh, spoken about. Um, so you need this uh, little metal box uh, to put it all in and uh, you have seen um, after I have built it and uh, this here is uh, our uh, core uh, this is uh, by the way a T50 slash 2 it is a T50 slash 2 um, core which uh, you uh, use or can use uh, but you can uh, also try a different one and uh, yeah here uh, it is uh, already shown uh, barely but uh, here I put it a bit, a bit more uh, into uh, your uh, into your uh, view uh, so I have here a 22 ohm resistor to what in uh, parallel and uh, then we have here our pot which is also a 22 ohm wire pot so that must be a little bit rough and uh, yeah this side uh, simply uh, connected uh, to ground and uh, here is our 50 ohm which is um, most likely uh, in your case uh, 47 ohm uh, resistor and you should uh, use film resistors not uh, this crappy sheep one wi which are on the market uh, so choose a metal oxide or a film resistor to do this here and yeah this 50 ohm is to adapt um, our device to all the other um, test equipment and then here our little uh, BNC which is of course with uh, the shielding uh, connected to ground and uh, that uh, is all you need uh, to do very simple and uh, it is not very expensive and you have seen it uh, will work uh, minimum up to 30 um, megahertz so we did not uh, test it 50 but uh, I'm sure that uh, on 50 it will work as well so no problem um, yeah that's uh, it uh, so far and uh, I'm really here at uh, the end uh, of uh, our video and as uh, always if it was of any value for you please uh, give me a big thumb up for this video and uh, if you didn't have subscribed up to now uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel and yeah catch you next time bye